Okay, so hello everyone, Edison's here and today I'm going to discuss more about pointing domains on Weebly. So typically if you have a Weebly website, so the, your, the first URL that you will have is a subdomain. So like this one, like the one that you are seeing on the screen. Now, uh, the problem with this, it doesn't look professional. So the best thing that you can do is to buy domain. So you can buy domain uh, on GoDaddy or even on Namecheap.com. So like this one. So it's on GoDaddy. You can buy on this website. Or you can also buy with Namecheap.com. But but I prefer if you are using Weebly, go with. So we go with GoDaddy.com. Uh, because uh, there are settings or instructions that also are available on Weebly on how you can point your domain name. So now let's check out how we can point the domain names on Weebly. So assuming that you that you already bought a, do, a domain name on GoDaddy, so let's say you already have one. Okay, the first thing that you should do is to log in on your Weebly account. Okay, so here we go. So just put put your just type in your <clears throat> type in your email. Okay, I prefer to use email on this part. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So email on this part and also your password. Okay, so here's your password. Now once you log in, so you just click the website. And then go to the settings. So this is the settings area. Now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so illustrated.pibli.com. This is a sub. This is a subdomain. But if you are ho if you are hosting a website and it doesn't look professional, so the best thing that you that you must do is to buy a domain name. Okay. Now I'm going to click change site address. Okay. And then click this one, use a domain you already own. So I think it's a domain name. Okay, here's the domain name. You just need to take out the HTTP and then I'll press continue. Okay, now as you can see there is instruction here. So you can also check this out. And then there's an IP address written below, so uh, number one, number two. Okay. Now the next step that you should do is to go to your GoDaddy account. So log into your da GoDaddy account. Just put your username or your ID here and even your password. Okay. Now let me do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Now there it is. Okay, now I'm already logged in. Okay, you may go to okay to your domains. Okay, so just click launch. And once you are inside, uh, you click launch on this part. So let me let me draw a line so you, that you'll better understand. So here, you must click this one. Then click launch. Okay. Now what you need to do on this part at the at sign is to change the IP address. Okay, so now let's go back to our Weebly. So here is the IP address. So I just need to highlight this and copy. Okay, and then I click this edit edit icon. So this is a pencil icon. Then change the number. Then quick add, and then I will then click this button save zone file. Okay, so it says that it's not valid. Anyway, it's working now. 
So it's the same IP address. That's the reason why it doesn't work. But uh, but as you can see, if you, if you just bought a new domain name, the IP address on this is, is entirely different. Okay, now once you are done, so return to your Bibli account and click continue. Okay, so now I already have this one. So I'll or I already point the Weebly domain. Okay. And then here it is. Now it's already changed, right? You can see it. Now I will click save. And let's try to publish it if if there is any changes for this. Okay, so let's go with this. See, it's in, it's already pointed. Yeah. Now changing domain on Weebly is not com uh, it's not complicated. Pointing domain on Weebly is not ha uh, it's not difficult. Okay, as long as you have the right instruction, the right step by step, so it's it is so easy to do. All right, so this is Edison Victorino and one of the e-commerce one of the trainer. Okay, so thank you for watching and now I'm signing off.